Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah Muhammad bin Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are here again in uh, we are looking at uh, the mystery of fasting in the month of Ramadan where last few days we spoke about how fasting has got to do with patience. And inshallah in this uh, segment that we are we are joining together we are going to talk about how imam uh, muhammad bin muhammad al ghazali mentioned about fasting in the way that we can practice in the month of ramadan and uh, al ghazali described uh, the three classes of fasting where somehow we are going to touch on it uh, this uh, this in, in this session uh, where where we can put this action of fasting in our 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 daily uh, um, uh, days or activity where we can uh, emphasize on how we can enhance our fasting ability so al imam ghazali mentioned that the three classes of fasting are first the common people it's known as the fasting of awam or the fasting of the elect and the third one the fasting of the elect of elect which is khususul khusus so these three uh, types of fasting is uh, adaptable definitely but it needs some understanding so as to we approach our our fasting um, um, uh, time uh, doing what we we have to do in the way that uh, imam ghazali mentioned in the three stages Uh, you can see how we fast in these three stages where you can position yourself in which um, um, category or in which class you are at so the first level consists in keeping the stomach and private part from satisfying their desire so representing the most basic uh, level of fasting uh, this is something which is uh, normally what uh, the uh, people do yani he keeps on not eating from dusk to dawn or dawn uh, from from dawn to dusk and then uh, he keeps on uh, uh, not doing anything uh, which has got to do with uh, uh, um, eating and and uh, and drinking and then to stop himself from satisfying his sexual desire and this is based on uh, on the 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 fake or the very basic fake um uh, uh the very big the very uh, basic uh, fit uh, assignment for you to 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 fulfill the fasting so the more demanding one is the second level bringing it more into uh face it and sensory world the fasting of the elect which is the second class consists in keeping the hearing the sight the tongue hands feet and all the other members of the body from seeing the alert level is being lifted up so this is what it is meant by the fasting of the elect and then the third one that uh, imam ghazali mentioned here is the fasting uh, is the fasting of uh, i would say the fasting of elect of the elect uh, in arabic it's known as khususul khusus so al imam ghazali deem this third as uh, as the loftiest level and and as the as the fast uh, similar to the prophets and 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 those who are near to god so this third level the fasting of the elect of the elect involves the heart from uh, the heart fasting from worldly concern and mundane thoughts and completely refrain, refraining that uh, his mind from focusing anything except or other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is our conversation uh, we are going to talk about how imam ghazali um, placed these three classes of uh, of fasting and uh, how we can choose one of this um classes in order for us to uh, to be acting upon our fast in this coming ramadan or perhaps how we can do the fasting is such that we can 
um, allocate ourselves to try and put in either of these three categories. So again here, the first one, uh, emphasizing only on the shurut in the uh, condition of, of validating your fast, which is not drinking, not eating, and not having intercourse with your spouse in the time of fasting. And then the third one is a little bit steep, a little bit higher, the one that concentrate on the, the sensory that you have. You, you have your eyes, you take care of it, you refrain it from doing anything that's got to do with seen, and then you, 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 do, you, free, you, refrain, you refrain your, your hands, you refrain your ears from doing scenes, and so forth. And the, the third one, which is the class that, that I just mentioned just now, is completely a refer, a refraining the heart, the heart, yeah. And the thoughts, the mind, and completely refrain uh, from any sin, but focusing it on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, I would like to emphasize here that, uh, you know, when you look at the number, number two class, you are looking at uh, lots more sense you. you. You are looking at the uh, sense of, uh, of, of uh, seeing, sight, hearing, and then um, I'm doing and so forth. There are more than these two things, which is heart and mind, when we are looking at the third class, which is the class of Anbiya, the class of Awliya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These people, they practice their fasting, doing these two things, of course, adding it to the, the, the second one and the, and the first one, refraining from eating and, and drinking, and sexual intercourse, and, and uh, taking care of the sensories, and also, doing this, this fasting of mind and heart. Now, uh, it's very interesting uh, that uh, the, the, the mind and the heart, uh, it's, it's very sensitive in a way. Uh, it's the most sensitive part in your body. And when we're looking at heart, when looking at, at, at mind, this two thing, it actually, uh, 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 it actually, uh, how would I say? I, I, I want to put it as something which is the beginning of 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 any acts of sin will 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 go through, will pass through the heart and the mind. Therefore, before anything else comes in, uh, Imam Ghazali, in his theory, in his understanding, or in this class that he mentioned, the the mind and the heart is where a person must stop at. Meaning to say, when you start to think of something which has got to do with the sensory, the five or the six or the seven, I, I suppose, uh, in, 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 a, in a person's body, refrain it from, from doing anything, it will come in through the heart first or the mind first. So therefore, this emphasis on taking care or or, or or refraining from having other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the mind and the heart is very important. And that one comes in from what I discussed last week, which is patient. How you uh, exercise the patience and amplify it inside this, uh, this um, what we know as uh, the, str the, the strength of fasting. So. Um, training oneself to exercise exercise a mastery uh, over thoughts, wind, uh, and inclination demands an individual who is conquering their lower, lower self. And this is part of being patient here. So this goes beyond outward act of worship and, uh, and, and, and stopping uh, the outward acts of disobedience with the arena of becoming uh, one's inner world. Uh, so, a uh, uh, critical note here is that it is important to think of this battle uh, even being attempted while the first two of Al Imam Ghazali's stages have not been completed. So, this can only occur when the basic condition of fasting are met, uh, which is the two levels before uh, the uh, the uh, khusus ul khusus that it mentioned. So, uh, its deepest meaning is to focus our entire aspiration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and to turn away from what is other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glory be to him. And uh, to be completely enveloped by the meaning of his word. So um, therefore, the spiritual side of uh, fasting here is very important in order for you to begin with other activities of good deeds like reading the Quran and doing voluntarily work and, or, and so forth, and dhikr and doing more salah and, and so forth. So it is important that these two places uh, that where, where it enters, the heart and the mind are uh, cleansed in a way, I would say. So al ghazali the highest level of fasting is a journey in, challenge, in, ch in channeling one's cognitivity uh, and cardiac uh, energy towards divine. So turning them away from the worldly in attempt to gain proximity to God. So this insightful um, um, stages, I would say, uh, is even more increased in light of age and unprecedented, unprecedented uh, uh, distraction. Uh, you, you see that this this present moment where we are at this uh, at this time and, and space, we are exposed to rafla. I said the, uh, the 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 thing that that uh, that uh, that somehow disturb us uh, in a way uh, to do or distract us in a way to do all acts of worship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So. Um, this uh, this uh, segment, as I mentioned, the three um, um, stages of, of uh, Al Ghazali is where we can look into, on where we can practice in order to exercise our uh, our our fasting to be a better one. And inshallah, I will end here. Uh, the next week, uh, I'm going to talk about how the key aspect of fasting and uh, and, and character. Uh, categorize uh, categorize in aspect of uh, of of uh, how we can enhance in six point. So uh, this is also in Imam Ghazali's uh, book of Ihya. Uh, he mentioned about four uh, or oh, sorry six point where we can look into and it can enhance our our fasting ability. Inshallah. So while uh, doing that, Inshallah. Uh, I will stop here. We will talk about the, the six um, point of attention uh, we are going to touch on next week, inshallah. Um, uh, till then, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.